I want to thank everyone in Senate for supporting me and giving me a chance uh, to do the honorary process to be part of this amazing community. And I want to thank Kate Gaines for giving me this jacket like two minutes ago. It really pulls the look <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, I also really want to thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to tell you how much it has meant to me because um, it, it really does mean a lot. Um, before school, the school year started, I was told that my class gave me the nickname Glasses Number Two, which honestly is the best nickname a group of mostly white kids have ever given me. So thank you for that. Um, I, I really have loved being in Senate and being able to participate in this community to the extent that it has allowed me to do so. Um, it has encouraged me to go to events that I otherwise never would have, like um, football games and choir concerts. Ultimately, um, it's Senate that has allowed me to appreciate the true diversity of grief, not just diversity of identity, but diversity of thought and diversity of interest. And I cannot wait to continue to be involved in any way that I'm allowed to do so. Um, and I also want to congratulate and thank William for being one of the kindest and most hardworking people that I know. And um, good luck to both of us. Uh, as student senate's number three Indian, I know diversity and inclusion <laughs> is not only a really important part of a healthy school environment, but it's also a really important part of my own life, which is why I'm so passionate about this position. As a current member of Senate's inclusion committee, I was given the opportunity to work through this last year with advocacy cl clubs like BSU and Spectrum to understand the ways that Cree can become more welcoming. Growing up, I went to this really small school and I knew everyone and I had known them for a really long time, but I was still the only person of color and it was really difficult for me to connect with any of them. I knew that they all saw me as different and I knew this because they told me that. Um, and I really, to be honest, I really only saw other kids that looked like me and came from families that looked like mine after coming to high school. So when I ran to be part of Senate last year, it was my first year at Creek and I didn't know anybody. I was super anxious about the idea of trying to join because I didn't really consider myself to be the kind of person that was capable of being part of student government. It's really because of this community's commitment to inclusion that I was able to uh, be confident, confident enough even to run at all. And now I understand that um, creating that same sense of safety for all students is the best way to achieve diversity because it means that more students will try more activities even if they don't consider themselves to be like this perfect fit. Um, because of the confidence that I felt with my place at this school, I was able to enjoy participating in other clubs as well, like uh, uh, through which I've met some of my best friends. I'm a member of the speech and debate team and this has given me a great appreciation for understanding multiple perspectives and I think I could really help bring that to the inclusion role. Um, the diversity inclusion campaigns are often portrayed really stupidly, um, but when done correctly, they are how we can ensure that all students at Creek feel safe and respected and valued, maybe for the first time, like I was. And this is why they are also incredibly important. If elected, I believe that there are some initi initiatives we as a community can pursue uh, to reach this end goal. First, we can ensure that all teachers, not just the new and upcoming ones, receive training in being inclusive of all students, regardless of their sexuality or gender identity, which is currently a problem that we're seeing. Second, we can make Senate's ability to help other advocacy clubs more robust. By making sure that all advocacy groups are able to bring presentations and concerns to Senate directly, we can provide greater support for fundraising and planning events. Finally, we can work to make advisory more effective by making it more student-led and a better fit for actually providing for students' mental health. Ensuring that all students have a place in their community and an equal say in how it is run is the utmost priority of an inclusion equity coordinator, in my opinion. The Creek community has helped me to feel valued, helped me to be seen, helped me to feel seen, and helped me discover my true passions. But I understand that this has not been the experience for everyone. If elected as your inclusion equity coordinator, I hope to bring the same sense of value to every student so I can play my part to enrich this community to the same way that, it's, that it has enriched my own life. So remember, vote CONCOT for to be your inclusion equity coordinator. What is something you hope to improve on with this position so that how do you plan to take it to the next level? Right, so I think one of the main things is bringing more clubs into the fold because the best way, once again, for Senate to achieve diversity is achieve this idea of diversity of thought and of interest. And so 
So bringing in lots of different clubs through like Google Forms and allowing them to participate more directly with what Senate is doing, I think we have a better idea of making sure the entire school community is more integrated with each other and understanding what each other are trying to do and to accomplish. Um, how are you going to continue to work to better the culture at Creek and make it a more positive and inclusive place? Right, so I think that one thing that is hard for a lot of us is like reaching out and talking to people that you otherwise wouldn't have. Like if I wasn't new to Creek, um, the last year I definitely would not have talked to as many people as I do. So I think one of the best ways is to make Senate more open and bring in more people like I talked about um, in my speech so that people can actually engage with what we're doing and engage with each other because I feel like there are sometimes echo chambers where you don't really talk to people outside your group.